Hi everyone, I wanna take a moment and talk about um, company wholesale sales and how to calculate that, okay? And I wanna show you um, how to read these numbers in your back office, okay? This is very important. So as you start to move up through the colors, when you start pushing for pink and blue and green and orange, it's really important that you know how to calculate um, what your team needs as a whole to, um, to progress, okay, and move forward. Because if you're doing the math wrong, there's a chance that you're gonna miss that goal, and that's not what we want, okay? So I'm taking a look at September. Today is September 16th, I believe. Um, so we're gonna take a look at what we've got going on for the month of September. Alrighty, so let's say I'm shooting for pink this month, okay? Let's say I'm pushing for pink. And I know that I need my $250 PRS minimum, okay? Which of course is your personal retail sales. And you can click these little buttons over here to the left and it'll bring up this little screen, well, when it's working, um, that will show you what PR, there it is, uh, what PRS is, okay? The sum of all retail value of commissionable products that you sold them in the month in question, okay? So let's click at the next one, company wholesale sales, okay? This really explains it, okay? Your company is the entire downline, including yourself, regardless of their status. So that means if somebody, say hypothetically, somebody underneath you promoted higher than you, their company sales will still contribute towards your company sales, okay? Okay, so wholesale refers to the 75% residual amount of the commissionable products sold after 25% retail royalties have been paid. Therefore, Company wholesale sales refers to 75% of the sum of retail value of all commissionable products that you and your entire downline sold in the month in question. Now what that means is that your company wholesale sales is your PRS and everybody in your downline, everyone in your company underneath you, all of your PRS combined minus 25%, okay? So that is the number that you need to reach after 25% has been pulled out of the PRS combination, the combined PRS of everybody, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to calculate that. I promise it's not as confusing as you think. So people think often, this is a very common thing, so don't beat yourself up and don't feel bad if this is what you've been doing. It's okay, I promise. I just wanna show you how to do it right. So a lot of people think that because 25% comes out, that they just take 25% out of this company, this company number and then add it back to it. But that's wrong, because if you do that, you take $2,000 and then you subtract 25%, which is $500, we know that, okay? So if you do that, then you're taking your $2,000 and you're adding $500, to give you $2,500, okay? Unfortunately, $2,500 in combined PRS of you and everyone in your company will not get pink status for you, okay? What you actually need to do is you need to find the 75% residual income of that, okay? So this is how to do that. You're gonna take that 2,000 and you're gonna divide it by 0 0.75, so 75, 0.75, excuse me, and hit equals. And then you're gonna round this number up $1. So $2,667, okay? And then you're gonna double check your work. $2,667 minus 25% equals $2,025. Okay, so it's gonna put you right where you need to be for this. Now, if you do it the other way, if you take your 2,500, oops, 2,500, and you subtract 25%, it's only gonna give you 1,875 company wholesale sales, okay? That is not enough to hit pink status. You would still need another $125, okay? So it's very important, $125 in company wholesale sales, okay? So, and let's say you needed that, 125 
divided by 0.75, you would need another $167 total, okay? All right, so let's talk about blue. So for blue, same thing. You're gonna do the math the same all the way up. Anytime you've got a wholesale sales number, so for company and circle, we'll talk about circle way later in another video, but for company wholesale sales, which is, you know, when you're shooting for a big promotion, this is the number one number. I mean, you've got to make sure that the entire company has got the sales, okay? So you need to know exactly what that looks like so that when you're making your plans and your goals, you know how to map it out, all right? It's very important. All right, so $4,000 divided by 0.75 equals $5,334, okay? So let's do the math. $5,334 minus 25% equals $4,050. So that's going to give you what you need for blue. Okay? Now if you do it the other way, $4,000 plus 25% equals $5,000. But we know that if you subtract 5, 000, if you subtract 25%, from $5,000, it's only going to give you $3,750 in company wholesale sales. Again, not enough to hit your goal. Okay, let's talk about green. Green is $10,000 in company wholesale sales. Okay, $10,000 in company wholesale sales. So if you add 25% to this, it's gonna give you $12,500. That is not correct. It's not the correct number that you need to actually be pushing for, okay? Because here we go, subtract 25% equals, look at that. It's only gonna give you $9,375 in company wholesale sales towards your goal. And that is too short. You will fall short every single time, okay? So do it right. $10,000 divided by 0.75 equals 13,334, remember we always round up, dollars. So $13,334 minus 25% equals $10,050. That is what you need to do to calculate your sales. So again, $10,000 divided by 0.75 equals, bam, that's your number, and always round up one, $13,334, okay? No matter what, no matter what you're going for, when you're looking at pushing a circle or a company wholesale, anytime you're looking at these wholesale numbers, that's how you do the math, okay? The other way to do it that most people do is mascara math, and I can actually use mascara math as a great example for this, okay? So here we go. So we've got um, a mascara math. So we know that a mascara costs $29. Oops, $29, right? It's $29. We all know that. So if you take $29 and you add 25, or um, yeah, add 25% to that. Nope, hold on, wrong one, sorry. See, I don't do mascara math because I don't like it. Um, oh, $29. <laughs> Okay, minus 25%, we know 25% of $29 is $7.25, right? Because we know that this right here, $21.75, is the wholesale cost of a mascara. So when you're doing your mascara math, let's say for blue, $4,000 divided by 21.75, right? That's what we know to be mascara math because we know that 21.75 is the wholesale value of a mascara. So that means you need 184 mascaras, right? 183.9, that's 184 mascaras, okay? So let's double check this. 184 mascaras times the retail cost of those mascaras is 5336, okay? And what did we say it was the other way when we did it? Uh, when we did it with the 0.75? 5334. So you can see there's only like a couple dollar difference there, but either one will get you to your goal. But you have to do mascara math the right way, all right? So when you're thinking about mascara math, that's all well and good. 
but just keep in mind it's the same thing. You don't take 21.75 and add 25% to it because if you do that, it's only going to be $27.19. But we know a mascara is $29. So do you see what you see where the difference is there? So if you take your company wholesale sales and you just add 25%, it's going to give you the wrong number. We know that to hit green, you actually need $13,334 in total combined PRS. Okay, so that should help you explain, or that should help you understand how to do your company wholesale sales math. Okay, it is not complicated. I promise you, not complicated, not stressful. Promise. Okay, super easy to do. And once you know how to do it, you're really going to be able to own your numbers and control your numbers. Alrighty. So feel free to shoot me a message um, if you have any questions about how to calculate those sales. All right. See you guys later.